But on the other hand, one of the disadvantages of focusing so much on children and grandchildren, and I wrote a chapter for a book that was called Climate Change, What It Means for You, Your Children, and Your Grandchildren. But one of the disadvantages of that is that it conveys a message for many people that climate change is in the future, that this is a problem that's off in the future, and therefore that maybe we can wait to deal with it in the future. And I've certainly had people say to me at barbecues and on airplanes, well, can't we just wait for some new technology to be invented to solve the problem? And so that's one reason why I don't spend a lot of time talking about my children and my grandchildren. I like to talk about what's happening right here, right now, in Seattle, in California, in Florida, in Massachusetts, in Maine, in Canada, um, in Texas, and all the places I've been fortunate enough to visit and talk to people. Climate change is happening, and it's happening here, and it's happening now, and it's affecting us, and it's costing us money, and it's changing the natural world we live in, and it's causing spring to come earlier, and it's disrupting ecosystems, and it's causing the expansion of ticks, you know, in Massachusetts, and it's causing poison ivy to be more poisonous, and it's adversely affecting fisheries and birds. So by focusing people's attention on what's happening right here, right now, I think it helps to remind us that, no, we can't just wait for some miracle of technology that might come about in 10 or 20 or 30 years. I certainly think we should be investing in technology. I certainly think there's a good chance that technological innovation will be part of the answer to this, and we absolutely should be doing everything possible to improve uptake of renewable energies and energy efficiency, and think about better materials, and better electric cars and better battery storage. All those things are super important, and I totally praise any great person who's working on it or funding it. But if it makes people think that we can just sit around and wait till those technologies come, then it becomes like a cargo cult, that we're just sitting waiting, but meanwhile, you know, the people in our village are going hungry.